episode. I'm Roggle, here with Sig and Lane, back with another episode for wrestling. Come back in with, to see what we can do for the year. Year review, year predictions, see what we can come up with, see how wrong we are come December, <laughs> or how right we are, but more likely how wrong we are. How wrong Rog- Roggle is. No, oh, fuck off. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. If everything lines up perfectly, this We're may have Gunther world champion. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Reigns not not a champion. <laughs> that was a good episode. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> and you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over. Let's take it to the top. <laughs> take two. Go. Don't talk about him. <laughs> He is he who shall not be named. That's what we can call him now. That's, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't rip that off from anybody. He shall not be named. That's completely original. Never been used. All mine. That's good. I mean, she's been canceled anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to go off our predictions from a Rumble episode from the men's of ours was Gunther. Yours was. We just had a conversation about what we call him now. Anyways, Sig, yours was Cody. What was it? I don't remember you had anymore. No. Nope. What'd you have? Speak, bitch. <laughs> Try again. I don't fucking remember. Did bless it? You had an end. Oh, fuck you. it. Senor. Uh. Priest. Uh, Money. Uh, the, ah, there we go. I don't fucking remember. You're good really for about one, epi- one episode a night, aren't you? He's good for about five minutes. That was a 15 minute. We had that, that conversation like 15, 20 just, minutes ago. I've already forgot it. You just clock out after that. No, I, that's honestly how my memory works. So, yeah. Poor wife. Poor kids. For anybody. It doesn't matter who they are. You just wake up and you're like, who the fuck are you? He's like, who am I? <laughs> it's like that scene from 51st Dates. He has a VHS. <laughs> he puts it in. He's like, oh, oh hey. <laughs> Somehow I always remember you assholes, though. So that's that's We're, stuff, on, we're unforgettable. I guess. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a thruple like us. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so winners of the Rumble, we had Gunther. You he had. Who shall not be named. I'm going to keep saying it. You had Priest. Well, hold on. Let's clarify something because this is going to be very confusing. This episode still be recorded before the Rumble. So mm-hmm. we don't know the Rumble results, even though this will release after the Rumble. So ignore that. For the time being, because you're going to confuse the fuck out of everyone when they listen to oh, this and they're like, because they're going to be like, oh, this got released after the Royal Rumble episode. Why are they talking about like it hasn't happened yet? You know, kind of like the live stream happened when people just randomly tune in. They're like, why are you picking Zami Zane? What's going on here? Why would somebody, why would somebody think that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Not just him. Your tra- Several people. Your track, <laughs> your track record speaks for itself. It was a very logical like thought that you're just that dumb. You're an idiot. Is he though? I, yes. Just wait. Don't think just because of the persona he puts on right now that he's perfect. Oh no! I'm just just wait. Just I come up and like I was like, oh, you are kind of stupid. And then here it comes <laughs> Rob. Like, oh, never mind. You're a fucking genius, man. I'm so sorry. I called you stupid. <laughs> I am so sorry. Here's 10 bucks. <laughs> so sorry. All it takes is $10 to buy your loan. <laughs> uh, it takes a bag of Skittles to buy my loan. I'm kind of cheap. <laughs> I will have Dr. Pepper on hand and Skittles. <laughs> Make sure you have Werther's Originals also. Let it's me just old. tell my wife I'm not coming home. Okay. First off, he told me he was born in 1990, so like I don't want to hear... <laughs> Any of us talk about being old again. <laughs> no one's 10 years older than me. We're good. It's fine. It's okay. Grand, you guys well, we were like... all born in the 1900s. Listen, shut 
your goddamn whore mouth, guys. Pick up your telephones, hang them up, take a picture of this. No more. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm getting a page. <laughs> Reach for the fax machine. Can't wait for the few people that are like watching this. Are like, what the hell's a page? What? <laughs> what the hell's that guy talking about? <laughs> Oh my god. Let me just pull out the Rolodex. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> no, I got that number here somewhere. Somebody, <laughs> somebody didn't put it back. Where's the S's? <laughs> Shit. Goes from S A to S U. What's going on here? Where's all the other letters? I've definitely done that. Pissed off my grandma by accident. Yeah, by Bless accident. You. You don't leave that type of shit around for a seven-year-old and be like, here, if the phone rings, it's going to be your uncle. Just let him know that grandpa and I are out outside and that you're going to come get us. Okay. Pick it up. Hey, find this address or find this uh, contact in the Rolodex. And make sure I have the number correctly. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <sighs> yep. And then I don't know what I did with it. Yeah. I didn't go back. Kind of like a, the old, old school card catalogs. You remember those? Try to find a book in the library. I had to pull out the, the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, man. I just got into it with somebody about the Dewey Decimal System when they're like, that's not a real thing. That's just something we were taught. I was like, there's a whole fucking song about it. Like, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> like, I'm not I, I've used I'm not, it. Uh, I, yeah. I've I, used the. I, I've looked it up. I've used it. I've hated it trying to find a fun. Okay, yeah. I'm doing a, doing a research paper on Jack the Ripper. All right, eight eighty two point five. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of research. Anyways, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> he's yeah, a good one. So he, he who shall not be named. He better have won it. Fucking so sick of it. So sick of it. Uh, but anyways, we have the, the whole year's prediction. What do we think is going to happen? Because other than, you know, the big speculation that's still floating around, which is TKO owning TNA slash part of TNA, what does this mean for WWE and TNA? Are they going to open the forbidden door? And then we have the connection between WWE and All Japan Pro Wrestling. Like they have a agreement of sorts clearly in the works. So there's a are you are you Googling? Get off oh, Google. I, not on Google I hate you. I'm not Googling anything. I'm sitting here. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so defensive. Yeah, keep your hands up. Wave them in the air. Uh which I mean, it could play into Royal Rumble, but how do you, how do you all feel about the year? Like, how's it all going to come out now that this is the first true hundred percent year that will be written and managed by the brand new regime of Triple H and absolutely no Vince McMahon? Is he now hundred percent out? Yes, he is not allowed to have any any influence or connection with creativity. He is if he does, he is a breach of contract with TKO. And he'll lose not only his board seat, but I believe he's also going to be sued. I forget the exact uh, extreme of it, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. He can't touch it with a 10-foot pole. I mean, like, whoa. It's an aggressive Dr. Pepper. That whoa. was a very <laughs> Just letting everybody know. I'm about to get these 23 flavors. <laughs> uh, no, I'm very excited three. for for this year, like with Triple H and just taking the chart. I think it's going to be good. That's why I'm excited for Roman Reigns to no longer be champion. I'm very when excited for this. When no, it's, it's, look, look, at some point in this year, it's going to happen. I'm I'm it putting my, be, I'm putting my, not be right my money on he will make it to September 12th. He will surpass Hogan. Unfortunately, I don't want this, but I this is what I fully oh, believe based upon the strength of everything and how the story is being written and the fact, you know, 
leaving his possible flare up with leukemia aside if that doesn't impact him any more negatively than it already has he'll make it to september 12th and he will be deemed second longest reigning champion and yeah that for sure he's not making it to the end of the year but he will make september 12th maybe the pay-per-view after that what's after in mm -hmm. september I personally hope not. I hope it's sooner than that. You hope it was at the do rumble. Drink, do you drink that any louder? But uh um <laughs> You can thank Rogel yeah. for this, okay? Because this fucker on Thursday nights will just sit on his mic and you'll be <laughs> And when I call him out, he's like, Oh, you don't like that noise? Crunching yeah, away on whatever school. <laughs> that sounds like Fucking Sounds punch like a bitch. <laughs> but either way, he's not going to have the bell at the end of the year. His run will be over or something. Hopefully at the Rumble. I Hopefully think it'll be sooner. I think it'll be sooner. I think it'll be at the Rumble. I think Randy Orton will take the bell at the Rumble. Yeah, hopefully he did. Make it him a 15 time. Oh yeah, hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully by the time this airs, Randy Orton is the universal champion. And he's he's he was just on an interview process too or program where he was asked about do you want to break Ric Flair's reign uh, most titles? And he kind of repeated John Cena's sentiment of it is it's it's not something I'm concerned with. It's I don't care. If I do it, I do. If it's right for the story and for the program and for the company sure i'll do it but otherwise i don't want to beat it just to beat it even though yeah. he if they're not going to give it to cena randy needs to be the one that beats it especially since it looks like roman reigns won't even come close to it and once he loses the title he will be on the brock lesnar schedule of come back for major events or major storylines to kind of get somebody over or help boost ratings for when they're low uh, but he, we won't see him too much and he'll either fade in to retirement or he'll go over to hollywood like the rock and cena so and yeah. Batista, well it's so. gonna be it's kind of hard to hold the belt 17 times when you hold it for three and a half four years for one run mm -hmm. you know so yeah this this is true no, this so, is so true. yeah i don't think I don't think he's going for that record. I think he's, yeah. Which is so. all the more reason to let him hold it till after September twelfth. Let him surpass Hogan with all of Hogan's controversy, year after wow. year. Something new always comes up with that dude. Yeah, let wow. sleeping dogs lie. Sleeping dogs lie. He's yeah. Dude's always Give it to Randy. Give it to anybody. Except Gunther. Randy. Randy. Let Randy go out on top. He's almost done. Let him have a nice run. He needs 250, it. 300 day run, maybe, or something. No, let no, him get it. No. Lose it to Cody at, at WrestleMania. And then win it back at SummerSlam. So he can be a 16 time. Yeah. Yeah. And then he can go out. He can lose it again. Uh, Survivor Series, and then you can gain it back. I don't know, Royal Rumble. So you Rumble. you you want him to beat the record then? Yeah, I I would like yeah. him to beat the record. I also would like John Cena to have beaten the record, but Randy Orton's career and his kayfabe all lines up better. It makes more sense for him to be the one that dethrones Ric Flair, especially since you know Evolution. He was part of yep. a stable. Why not say they quote unquote groomed him to surpass Ric Flair? Yeah. And then no, I like that. create his own little stable again where he can help bring younger talent up to speed or irrelevant yeah. talent. You know, I know he did a couple movies, but I like that he also kind of tried, like, I don't want to say tried to stay away, but he stayed away from Hollywood. Yeah. He didn't he really leave it like, you know, he didn't take you know he didn't become as big as like the rock or cena so he was able to stick around the wwe more so like it just it feels like you're right it feels like it'd be 
He's a company guy. Better. Yeah, it feels much. It feels more real to have him. Yeah. Than to just be like have seen it come back for one more go to just win it to be like, yeah, I did it. Well, and, and then... they did. They they could have done that, and there was speculation that they were going to do that to let Money in the Bank cash in on him, so where he beats it, but he also loses it in the same night. So where they can give him the uh, say, well, he beat Ric Flair, uh, he lost it. So yeah, which would have been the way they should have done it if they did. So where he doesn't have an actual run in WWE too long, right? But with Randy, you can actually give him a few decent runs, and it yeah. would work. Yeah. yeah. What's your input, Roggle? Okay. This is an A B conversation. <laughs> No, if uh, all if right, good Roman chat. does if Roman does lose it, where does he go from there? Does he have that like we talked about before the feud with the Rock at Man- at Mania? Yeah, and hold on to the Bloodline storyline and then kill it at Mania. I don't think and he would bow, kill it and bow to the Rock and losing it that, or did he beat the Rock? Saying if that's where that's where it goes, does he beat the Rock and become the true head of the table? Oh, you're gonna hate and this. And then where the hell does the Bloodline go at that point? The running theory that I've seen a lot is when it happens, we will see again Jimmy and Solo get involved. And The Rock has been somewhat vocal about how Jimmy is not there mentally and he's not concerned with Solo at all. So the running theory is that Solo won't get involved because again, like I said in the last episode, The Rock is an elder and he does what the elders tell him to do. He's made that very clear as he's following the orders of the elders. So if The Rock and Roman were to face, it would be a very, you know, stop Jimmy or tell Solo, stop Jimmy. Um, And then the other theory I've seen is Jimmy coming out to try to interrupt the match only for Jay to come out and, you know, whoop his ass. And still Solo's just kind of there like, I don't know what to do. But I also think it could be a three-peater, unfortunately. Let Roman win with the Rock. Yeah. No, that's that's a lot to. Is it? I think it's too much. I think it's too much for him because he's going to have only way it would work, I guess, with that being the UFL that he's promoting. Yeah. As well, so he would have that to be around for. I don't know what other movies he has coming out or anything else for him to try and the board be member. around for. He's on the board now for TK. Yeah. So a three P. I know you have a hard on for those, but I don't think it'd be a three P. I'm just following historical stats of what WWE likes to do. I know. I don't WrestleMania, think WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series. Good. Roman wins. Rock wins. Roman wins. Either which way, Roman comes a, out on top. I think it's a one and done at WrestleMania. I, I hope Roman so. Wins. I hope so, because The Rock is not looking great if you compare it to his little tiff with Jinder Mahal. Yeah. yeah. He looked I off. Agree. Yeah. And that's being nice about it. And that's another uh, guy we didn't even, we didn't even talk about. Because no one in... gives a fuck. Tony Khan cares more for him than anyone else. He is vital to, their, to the Indian market. That's one of the main reasons why he got the title. He's they, not even from market. there. He's from like Canada or somewhere. It doesn't matter. That's he was the he was the spokesperson. I, for I it. know. I know. He's their face for it, and they've already said that's a huge market that they want to keep. Even though and it costs them more money than they make over if there. He, if he fucking wins the Royal Rumble, I I don't even know what to fucking do at that point. So, I <laughs> dab for saying that. To be honest with you. I'd rather have Gunther. Dumber. dumber. <laughs> I agree. I just on dumber things have happened. And yeah, your existence you know, is proof of this. I hate you so much. <laughs> but I think I think with him being involved, it could be something. But regardless of that, Randy, if Randy does win it, I think what you guys talked about is is one hundred percent right of going back and forth. I think he. Could win it at Mania, or no, I'm sorry, win it at Rumble, lose it at Mania, 
win it back at uh, SummerSlam, and then lose it at Money in the Bank. That's just a month turnaround after uh, SummerSlam. Well, Being hold on. I forgot about Money in the Bank. They could actually make it so where he gets two title reigns um, before WrestleMania. Beat Reigns at Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Damian Priest cashes in. Those two feud. Randy beats Damian Priest. Second title reign. That puts him... Um, yeah, the nation yep. And then at WrestleMania, he goes in as a champion. He faces Cody. And then he has, you know... Uh, a feud or whatever of sorts afterwards lose loses that wrestlemania gains it back at SummerSlam, mm -hmm. and he would he would have yeah. 17 by the end of the year i yep. mean shit, that's true yeah win 15 at the rumble lose it at the rumble mm -hmm. to money in the bank win it at the elimination chamber back 16. from priest yep 16 bam lose it at mania win it back 17 damn that's pretty good i like that and that gives cody a decent run with it too and they got to get Priest to cash that fucking thing in soon. He's he's almost out of time. It's he got to July. I mean, that's the next money in the bank. Yes, and he's almost out of time. <laughs> he's not going to cash in on Royal Rumble, even though he should. I yeah. get the feeling they're going to save it. They're going to fuck him over, and they're going to save it for money in the bank. If they don't do it on Rumble and take my... WWE, listen to me. Oh, no, you can't. This this taking place out of the rubble. Never mind. <laughs> listen to my thoughts. <laughs> Put this out on I Twitter. ESPN. <laughs> Put this out on Twitter and, and just follow it. Um, but that rumble makes sense to let Randy do it and Priest cash in. But he has to do it by WrestleMania. Because after that, he won't cash in until July or June. Yeah, because, I mean, Mania is in, was it, April? What's May? Clash of Champions or something like that? Backlash, if they have one. Unless they got rid of oh, it. Oh, Backlash, yeah. I don't know what it is. Um, but then, you know, it's supposed to be getting rid of all these. If Freeze could win this, then that would put him on SmackDown. I guess he could float back and forth. He'd have to be on SmackDown just to be a... a title presence on for Fox because I'll bitch about it just like USA did about not having a fucking title yeah but that could help with the whole Rhea making matches for him on Raw and say that you know you don't yeah, own and it, it here it would only be a month yeah but if they did that Hopefully. that could cause more division by Rhea scheduling Damien to be part of tag matches with Finn and then pulling double duty over on SmackDown. I think they lose them the Monday after. I want anybody. Like that. Overall. But Judgment Day do have these damn titles. Back titles. I think it's it. Who's challenging them on Monday for the title? Is it DIY? DIY? Yeah. Yeah. I think DIY gets it. Did I, I by the way, that. did I miss something? Did Creed Brothers not get their match? They did. Like, yeah. We saw we saw that live. That was the one here in Des Moines we went to. Yeah. And it was they, a good I match. They faced Dominic and great Jamie. Match. No, it was a great match. I may have scrubbed through it then just to see who won. Yeah, no, it's it's a good match. Definitely something that they the Creed brothers definitely have potential. Um but like the DIY Miz and DIY, yeah, DIY and Miz and then Balor Dominic and JD, that's going to be a feud going on for a while. And our truth, do not forget I, about our truth in that whole. I want to see what, where he fits in. Uh, I'm curious with the in Rumble what he does. Um, I hope he set the that, that ladder. I think get, he's going to throw Tom Mysterio out, but he's going to leave Nick Mysterio in. <laughs> He's done nothing but just make the Judgment Day even better. Oh, dude, he's what they do. He's he's a fucking treasure, and we should protect him at all costs. He's hilarious. He's very good at what he does. So, side note, really quick. So, WrestleMania, April sixth and seventh, May fourth, Backlash, July sixth is the next pay per view after that, and that's Money in the Bank. Yeah. So. So really, Rumble, honestly, Elimination, WrestleMania, Backlash, Money in the Bank. 
So, so four, he might have a shot at backlash. Is it SummerSlam June seventh and ninth? No, SummerSlam's August. Why is it saying August thirty first is Bash in Berlin. Oh, when is SummerSlam, SummerSlam then? It's not on this list. I'm that's literally what I'm trying I, looking for. I did Google it and it says June seventh. June's not on here. Interesting. I don't the care about your ad. Usually it's like an August thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. The, yeah, their their whole no. shit is weird. So get there then. Yeah. yeah this is from Sportskedia and it says according to WWE, these are the confirmed premier live events happening this year. Royal Rumble. Elimination Chamber, WrestleMania, Backlash, Money in the Bank, and Bash in Berlin. Huh. So unless Bash in Berlin is SummerSlam, which I don't see them doing because SummerSlam's the iconic four. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be weird to get rid of that. Uh, let's see. That's the Survivor Series right. show? Survivor Series? No. Literally, they only have out to July. Mm. Or sorry, to August 31st, which is Bash in Berlin. But this is also supposed to be the year we're getting rid of the the match title PL, uh, PLEs. So we won't have a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view match or premier live event. That's yeah. going to be a just a match. Um, I can't find anything actually about SummerSlam. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, August 31st says Bash of Berlin. That's weird. Yeah, it just says, says, as of October 26, possible locations for SummerSlam 2024. It has not been announced or determined. As of December, SummerSlam 2024 has not been announced or determined yet. However, there's a report via Fightful Select, which hit and missed. Um, that right. it'll be in Cleveland, Ohio. Again, no date. So, this one says that Bash in Berlin will be the new end of summer pay per view. Which makes they're gonna, sense. They're going to replace SummerSlam, and that's going to be Jesus, this, dude. Backlash is France. Money that makes Toronto. Bash in Ber- uh, I mean, Australia. They're going, they're going hard this year with international. Yeah, they are. They are going. They are going super hard. Huge Mahal is champion. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm already upset that I'm not even going to be able to watch Elimination Chamber live. I'm not waking up. So say you can watch it. You just gotta wake up. I'm not. Wa- I mean, it's like two, three hours earlier than normal. But I'm not waking up. I cherish yeah, I'm my not sleep. Watching that live. And it's probably not gonna be that great. So I will watch it same day later, mm-hmm. but scrub through some matches. But that's now that we're on that, so I, that's impressive that SummerSlam's not, not on there. No, oh. this one is from December 17th saying uh, WWE is still looking for location, date, and time for SummerSlam 2024, but has confirmed it will take place in the United States, mm-hmm. which would make sense if they have all these international dates right mm. interesting we learned something new <laughs> but ohio is the only one in, that's popping up if it's in ohio we can go you really want to go to ohio i mean i wouldn't mind going to a summer slam It'd be kind of cool and nobody really wants to go to ohio sorry ohio if you're listening you suck ass. <laughs> I mean, you got the NFL Hall of Fame. That's yeah, it. As I say, we, we already uh, confirmed that he gives two shits about the NFL. <laughs> I kind of care when I see really bad ref calls all over social media. I'm like, hold on. The fuck just happened here? <laughs> How do you have a job? I'm getting... I tried getting old Roggle here to go to 
Chicago with me this year to watch Survivor Series, but he didn't want to go, so I had to back out. You can afford that shit. Let me guess. He made it's an expensive. excuse. It's expensive. I mean, it's got an excuse for everything. It's expensive. Yeah. Not offered to pay for it. But it's expensive. I offered you... to pay for it. No, it's expensive. That's where we differ. Somebody goes, hey, I'm going to go here. I'll pay for it. All you have to do is drive up here. Like, <laughs> say less. Let's go. Nope. I don't think my I don't think it'd be a problem with my wife. She'd be like, look, he already bought the tickets, so okay. I gotta go. I'm gonna take a rental though, so I'm gonna show up in a nice car. <laughs> really, really, it wasn't expensive either. You think it's gonna be expensive in Ohio? No. I'll tell you where <laughs> I'm never gonna go: WrestleMania. <laughs> Those are expensive. <laughs> those are super. Those feel like super overpriced, especially since I, I know I've talked with him uh, with Rago about this before. I feel like if you go to those type of massive pay per views or premier live events, whatever, you almost have to sit within the first like five to eight rows, maybe ten, just because at that point you're watching a giant TV to see what's going on in the ring because you're too far fucking up, and they all just look like mini little people, which I can do at home. In the comfort yeah. of just my underwear, a TV. I just, yeah, I just go for the experience. But if I did, like I was talking about this with Robin too, if we did Mania, like I would want to do the Hall of Fame, like both nights. Like I want to go do all of those, things, you know, the whole the whole weekend. And you're talking whole kick caboodle, ten k probably easy. So I could do a SmackDown and the Hall of Fame, and I would be fine watching Mania. In my hotel, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go. I would, any honestly, I would rather like. I would rather see the Hall of Fame. I would rather pick a good Hall of Fame, like when like there's be some Baker. good inductees. Like that would have been an amazing one. Oh yeah, so that's the only one I, I I actively tried to go and go to the moment they announced Taker. I was like, "Yep, he's my all-time favorite." Let me figure out how much. Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Poor Jeff. But back to subject, kind of, sort of. Yeah. So do you? So let's speaking of Reigns and Randy. La Knight. This all makes sense because Royal Rumble yeah. is a fatal four way. What's prediction for La Knight? Do we see him actually winning single gold finally, or? Forever curse to just be the company dog. It'll be no, the Dolph gonna, Ziggler. No, he's gonna. Uh, he's Dolph gonna won gold. He did. That's true. He did. Multiple World times. Heavyweight gold. Yeah. And tag. LA Knight is gonna take An international or yeah, the U.S. belt from Sorry. Logan Paul. Has he had a belt yet at all? No. Well, Not with uh, WWE. Well, maybe NXT. I don't think he even had the NXT. Hmm. I don't think he has. No, he has zero WWE titles. He has the Million Dollar Championship, NWA, PWR, and TNA. Which, he doesn't even really count the TNA because he's said numerous times they kind of just gave it to him. And then they did nothing with him. So he's never hold held gold in the WWE. He's gonna get it in WrestleMania. <laughs> but I think if, Logan he, if, Hull, he... if he retained at Rumble, I would love for LA Knight to just beat the living <laughs> shit out of him. It's gonna be LA Knight and Logan Paul at WrestleMania for the uh, your, uh, United States title. And it would be <laughs> kind of sort of relative. Again. <laughs> That's my prediction. I don't know why I you're laughing. See that. I could see that. I don't think Elena has anything until he wins money in the bank. Possibly maybe when he wins money in the bank. What? That's what I'd like to see him do too. Fuck. Um, <laughs> my fucking eye hurts. What happens um, when you think too much? No. Pressure builds um, up. If uh, 
He can get to uh, money. Uh, all right, well, he's composing himself. <laughs> I'm with you, Lane. <laughs> that late yeah. night will be at the, uh, WrestleMania for the gold. Because yeah. yeah. I've I been seeing reports he was supposed to, or he was slated to face Logan Paul for the U.S. on Royal Rumble. And he clearly is I, not. I think they've been, so. Yeah, I think they've been trying to about a month or so before like they started pushing the three way the fatal four i think they were trying to push a a little beef between those two again yeah well because they had a little one up to what was it money in the bank uh was it, no was, like was it was a survivor series even he made well i mean in the comments but they, about love and yeah Paul. but they yeah yeah are you dying no, I'm right. Just keep going. <laughs> no, we're fine. No, we're fine. You're not fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so take a mind all, you'll be fine. The, uh, yeah, I, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, guy. Or recording, whatever. Um, no, LA Knight's gonna win though, or win gold at some point, whether Rago believes oh, or yeah. not. Yeah. He 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 has to. They've dangled that dollar in front of him for so long. Look, I got you a dollar. Got it. I gotta be quicker. You gotta, you like, gotta be quicker. They can't they can't string him along too much longer but without it's uh, without affecting his his pull with the audience, so to speak. He's way too over even a year and yeah, a year, year and a half after finally getting over. And he's been hot ever since. And he, they're pushing their limits with him. Just here, go against Roman Reigns. Yep. Loss. Even though he won, he'll, he'll, they, they protected him. He'll, he'll be Logan. For sure. I, That's what I see happening. Because KO, we already know, by, well, by the time this airs, Logan's still going to be the United <laughs> States champion. It makes. Here's the problem, though. Logan retains that Royal Rumble. I hope I'm wrong when I'm saying this, but if Logan retains that Royal Rumble, he's not gonna have a match again until WrestleMania. He's gonna go another sixty days, ninety days, whatever it is. He won't have another match. Oh, you're probably right. And while It'll yes, build a good the, feud. while yes, the U.S. title is useless as of late or as of the last couple of years, whatever. They need somebody to, they need to either retire the U.S. title and basically say Logan Paul ran away with it type situation and come out with a new title. Or they need to give it to L.A. Knights so where it can be a defending championship rather than, you know, this is worse than Brock Lesnar's type schedule because at least he would show up on, on Raw or SmackDown occasionally. Yeah. The lead up to WrestleMania will be a good feud between him and Knight, and Knight will take it away from him. And then we'll have our defending champion. Yeah. But do you think LA Knight's going to hold on to the title, Bob? He'll have it for a while. I think, he has, I think he, he has a triple digit reign. If he can defend it enough, I think it'd be it'd be worth it. He's gonna be on. Uh, he's not gonna do Seth Rollins style of defending it every every week on SmackDown. But I think if he, he could, goes though. to, he could. But I don't think he will. I don't know how if his body will keep up like that. He's had a couple matches uh, recently where he looked like he was either drugged out of his mind, like completely looped out, or he just his body just couldn't keep up with yeah. what he was doing. It said Lexus has the longest. Lex Luger is the longest reign. I remember that. I was looking at that. 523. I don't know when the hell he had that belt. <laughs> How long did he have? 523. 523 days. So they, they could give it to him, WrestleMania, let him hold on to it until. Oh, that's almost a. That, what, end of 2025? It'd be like SummerSlam in 2025, wouldn't it? Yeah, Summer or Survivor for the two. Oh, a Summer, yeah, at least Survivor Series, damn near. 
Yeah. Or whatever they decide to throw in there. Bash Berlin or... It would be September 11, 2025. It's a bad time to lose it. No, he has to, he has to hold it. Lose the, lose the U.S. title. <laughs> you can't lose the U.S. title on September 11, bro. Look, what if, hear me out, a little dark, he loses it to, say, like, gender. Mustafa? Oh, jeez. Not correlated, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if he won it at WrestleMania, he would have to hold it basically till September 11th, September 12th. And he would be the longest reigning U.S. champion. And it could be well-deserved, too, to finally break the U.S. record, which I, I don't know who's second. Uh, was, we did this whole, uh, we did this whole fucking thing. Uh, I was, bit, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. If he legitimately defends it that many times, or a lot of times to, to get to that, cool. If he just holds on to it for three years, for however long, and barely defends it, that's fucking stupid. So Rick Rude held it for 378 days. Dean Ambrose Rick. held it for 351 days. MVP, 343. Nikita Koloff, 328. Barry Windham, 283. Ric Flair, 253. Shelton Benjamin, 243. Austin and Cesaro, 240. Top 10. Okay. So, I mean, he. I feel like U.S. title is slated to, I don't want to say delete, but to remove Lex Luger, Luger from, from me, number one, since... There seems to be a lot of stuff coming out in the last like year or two about, you know, other than roids, but some questionable activities. Yeah, that's like kind of the tip of the iceberg <laughs> that started it. There's other assault charges and essay charges that I've been seeing pop up randomly. He killed Elizabeth. That's all that matters. That piece of shit. So. It makes sense to distance themselves even more, which I'm amazed they haven't done it sooner. Because honestly, people probably forgot Lex Luger even held that belt. Because people forget about that belt. I was say, yeah, they probably forget about the belt as well. Yeah. But I think LA Knight right now would be the perfect person to be like, yeah. Hey, who's your longest reigning U.S. champion? Fucking LA Knight. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know? I mean, it would, be it would work. It would work. And he wouldn't even have to, like you said, he couldn't, he couldn't do what Seth's doing every Monday, every other Monday, whatever. No. It would have to be safe for just premier live events. Let him defend then so where he has longevity in his body, but he also can actually hold out until September of next year. Yeah. How, how often is that title even on a pay-per-view, though? Because like IC titles hardly ever been on them. U.S. title is only... It, it, it depends who has the title. That, and that's true. I mean, Theory's Austin Theory ever. actually... Uh, he did it pretty decently. I don't think... He, Ricochet was hardly ever on as well. How many uh, has nope. Gunther had in a, in a pay-per-view? How many has Gunther defended? I mean... I don't know if he has, has he? That's a loaded question, because I don't really watch Gunther. You watch the pay-per-views, though. Yeah, but I don't remember Gunther. Like I don't, I don't remember the last time. I guess I'll probably stop saying that. I don't remember the last fifteen minutes. I mean, he's just gonna it. fucking pop up on fucking Saturday. Awesome. Um, let's see. Since he's held it, nope, that's SmackDown. He's had eighteen tiled event defenses since holding it or getting it. Um. February 17th was his first challenge, but that was on SmackDown. He had one at Money in the Bank. Another SmackDown. Another SmackDown. One at SummerSlam against Drew. SmackDown. SmackDown. Yeah. SmackDown. 
SmackDown. SmackDown. Night of Champions so against 19... Mustafa. He's had 18 total. Uh, this one says 19. The Miz was his 19. Uh, I'll have to see if that's on the bottom of my raw, raw, WrestleMania, raw, raw, Clash at the Castle. So there's five. Yeah, Miz is on here, so this isn't fully up to date. So he's had five PLEs. Was Miz at PLE? Yeah, it was. It was. So no, six, so six. So six out of nineteen of his matches have title defenses have been at Premier Live events. We just saw a decent number of fair music he's been on, too, I guess. Most of it, yeah, most of them took place on SmackDown. Let's see about Austin. That one kind of... Oh, no I database think, like honestly, that last one? I think Austin was also going to be a lot of SmackDown. Austin yeah, was slated to be like pushed really heavily. He was supposed to be the the following of Cena, and then now he's persona. Uh, yeah. Grayson Waller. Maybe Grayson Waller and Rock together. Uh, let's see. This is not great. How many days has he held it? He held it for seventy five. That's it. That's what it says. Man, I thought he was longer than that. What a chunk. He has to be, he beat Ricochet, didn't he? Yes. Correct. Correct. And then, yeah. Um, let's see. Theory Pan against Mustafa on Raw. Hell in a Cell won. Money in the Bank, he lost to Bobby Lashley, ending at 75 rank. So Hell in a Cell and Money in the Bank are the only two pay per view matches that are he got it up. He got it back though from Lashley at one or he got it back one more time. I'm trying to read all this. There's a lot of this is like his whole <laughs> fucking synopsis of him. Not just his <laughs> title reign. The other side I had literally yeah. is like here's here's just the intercontinental intercontinental matches. The moment I typed in US, that website doesn't even pop anything up, so fucking great. <laughs> Uh, he defeated Rollins and Lashley to win his second title defense. Um, uh, Raw, Raw. Uh, no, that's just talking about the Rumble. Elimination Chamber. He successfully defended the title against uh, Reed, Priest, Gargano, Ford, and Rollins in Elimination Chamber match. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and then Cena match, WrestleMania 39. Yeah, uh, but uh, that wasn't a title match, though. Theory challenged John Cena for the U.S. title at WrestleMania 39. Oh, it was for the U.S. title? I didn't think it was. And he retained it. That yeah, was a put-over match. Yeah. It was to be the, the next Cena. Which flop? At what point do uh, who do you have Gunther dropping the title, his IC title to eventually? Jay. To Jay? Yeah. Like, what about you? Hmm. Who? If Joe he Mama. does get this world title push, he's not. I love God. He's not a dual champion. Uh, if he gets, if he gets the world heavyweight, he'll be a dual champion for a bit. God, Dude, die. because they're going to set gonna him up first, as a beast. He's going to be the first Grand Slam champion to hold them all at the same time. Listen, okay, you need to shut your <laughs> whore mouth. I'm done. I'm done with you. <laughs> all together. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Saturday's canceled. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> cancel Royal Rumble. Cancel plans of all. We're done. I think. I think it's, it's going to be. <laughs> to me, Brock that beats him. But then who beats? It's gonna be who would beat Brock be, for? For it. it's gonna be Brock because they need to make it believable that he's this that Gunther's this larger in life guy, and Jay Uso beating you 
doesn't doesn't really make you feel like you're unbeatable. Brock still holds that like, oh well, your only loss is Brock Lesnar. Okay, that's yeah. still. But if you know, he, like that's if Gunther somehow is dual champion and he loses to Jay, he can blame it on having to pull double duty. He could. You're right. I just, I think, uh, like what we mentioned in the previous episode, I think they're going to try to push that Brock and Gunther yeah. rivalry at some point. And I think they'll have Brock beat him. Here, here's an interesting take. We know Roman Reigns can beat Brock Lesnar, so to speak. And he's done it. What better way to set up a feud for Jay versus Roman, part two, and let Brock win Icy, Jay... Barely beats Brock. They have a feud. And we build up Jay to look strong. Kind of strong, whatever. Just for him to kind of go after Roman Reigns later and be like, I also beat Brock. With nobody's help. And kind of dangle that little tidbit of, you needed all of us. And I didn't need anybody. I don't think Jay's going to get that push, man. Is it just me or is he the, now the corny hype man? He's coming across as the hype, the corny hype man. But there's also like I saw, I think it was Twitter saying Jay may be injured, which is why we're not seeing him in matches right now. I don't. I just don't. He's all over the place. I don't think he's all gonna over. get that that big heavyweight title push for some reason. I just I don't Unless feel like he's he gonna, juicing. I thought about, he's I gonna be the man. The same thing about the Rock too. Looking, he's rocking my view with Nation of Domination. Like, I didn't think he's going to be what he turned out to be at that Screw point. that. Go back one when he got, not suspended, but when he was told to go home until we have something for you. And then they brought him back for Nation of Domination. Mm -hmm. And that sold him. So, I, I mean, mean, the thing is, though, is you're The Rock, that was when he was 24, 25, and they brought him back. Uh, and Jay, juicing what, was 38? legal. 36, 38. I mean, like, if you're going to do something with Jay, you need to get it going right now. Jay's not young. We said the same thing about L.A. Knight, but look at that. Yeah, but we're talking about L.A. Knight getting a United States championship run. Mm -hmm. he says dare you how dare you compare that to a freaking world heavyweight title run? Jay's not getting a heavyweight title run. I don't think, I don't think I see, so either. I see title at that at best, and maybe he'll get another shot at it eventually, but... I don't know. I don't. I don't. He just. Uh, if he is injured, then they're playing off as a corny hype man. But it's, that's all he's coming across as right now. I think Solo will get a better push before. I think they, Solo will for sure. Well, Solo has to at this point because they're they're calling him the the heir, the tribal heir. So he had the like path. they they can't. I shouldn't say can't because they've proven us wrong numerous times, but they shouldn't set Solo up for that, keep calling him and giving him this nickname of the tribal heir, and then all of a sudden be like, shh, sleep underneath the rock. No one will remember it. We know they won't. Except everybody will remember it. And they'll be like, no, what are you talking about? We never said that. No, it's just it's just like Chris Benoit never won at WrestleMania. You, you can't find it. It didn't happen. No, shh. So yeah, who won the 2004 Royal Rumble? <laughs> Well, I saw a TikTok where they all just kind of like somebody legitimately inquired, like I wasn't alive during that. I was like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it wasn't there. Okay, so what about Drew McIntyre? I think he. Get, I think he gets a title. I think he gets world heavyweight before the end of the year. And at this point, it's going to be. Punk wins it from Seth. Seth's going to go on a nice little vacation for a bit. Punk and Drew will feud. And then Drew will throw his, you know, Ooh, what was me? I've given up everything. I've been kicked out. You left. Uh -huh. And they're going to have a feud. And then Drew will win. And unfortunately, I do see this being a multiple one. I'm not talking about like three. I'm talking about three. Like <laughs> Where's Cody at the whole time, though? Cody will be on SmackDown because he will have won it from Randy Orton. Are you not tracking what we fucking no, started they with? Need to, they need to, if that does work, then cool. But I don't see Cody going to SmackDown. 
if he does win it, obviously he'll go. There's too many big baby faces on Raw yes. right now. No, I, I agree. SmackDown has LA Knight. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Randy Orton's not, Ra- not Randy's on the baby that face. In, he's that in between. He's a vigilante. Yeah. He's gray area. <laughs> AJ Styles is just a vengeful bitch right now. He's a, he's uh, a punk. Always been a punk. <laughs> Besides my punk, <laughs> but you have you have no right. no baby faces that can go toe to toe with Bloodline or Randy. anybody else. Yeah, so it, it has to be Cody, and Cody's going to be the face of SmackDown for a bit while Roman Reigns is gone. Uh, and then Raw you would leave you with twenty three flavors so. in your lap, didn't you? No, I dropped Stitch in my lap. Oh. Uh, I'm done. I can see, I can see Punk on SmackDown more, but that's not saying that he's going to beat Roman for the title. Punk's not going to SmackDown. He's not no, but I think, he, I think he would What's fit better on SmackDown. I think he'd fit Why? better on SmackDown. Why? Just the way that he is with everything. The way that show is, I just, I just see him better there. But Cody's obviously been the one that goes, that goes there. No, 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 no. We're not great. Back up. Explain yourself. The, oh, mic show CM, the, the mic skills that CM Punk has, the way the two hour marks that they have, there's only a two hour show. For now, yeah. The way that he, the way, yeah, it's going to be a two hour show. Fox isn't going to go three hours. But he's not, they're but not on goes, Fox anymore at the end of this year. They're on USA. They have a whole year still. It's only January, jackass. Still a whole year. Calm down. It's October. But... CM Punk. Yeah, but if what? Cody wins the belt, he's not going to win it until April or the, you know, so he's going to be yeah. there almost what the end of May. So it's like half the fucking year. If Cody wins it, he's on SmackDown. He's talking about CM Punk. He asked me why CM you're Punk. You're talking about you. You said CM Punk would fit better because yeah. of the show's format. Yeah, the way that it is, the way that he cuts promos, the way that the show is, I think he would fit better with with that whole area there. I don't. I, Cody's probably gonna go, but I think CM Punk would work better there. Just with the, the who was there. I mean, who's all there that he could feud with? Don't. Don't take a victory sip. You didn't win. Well, who who all who could Cody say with Cody? I mean, you could say who can he feud with? They're gonna. There are so many fucking heels on SmackDown. And Punk will feud with them as no, well. Punk's Punk's well, in that in that gray area. Punk's the same as Randy Orton, man. He's like a vigilante. But it's, it's what I'm that's just that's how it, I thought. But I, yes, Cody's gonna go there. I just think Punk fits better. I just want to understand your logic on this because it's not, it's not, you're not, you're not going to be open to it, so it doesn't matter. I'm open to a lot of stuff, okay? You're a liar. I'm a whore. That's who. (laughs) (laughs) Punk doesn't make sense for SmackDown. Punk doesn't make sense in the WWE. Correct. So that's, that's where that's at. Yeah. He's had one match. On a live. Yes, against against Nick Mysterio. <laughs> uh, Speaking of, of, let's be real. Our truth should win the Royal Rumble. Our truth <laughs> should have a world heavyweight belt. Our truth should be the face of the WWE. Our truth should be the truth. <laughs> I think he is low key the face of WWE. Since he's came back. Everyone's talking about R Truth. Everyone. He really is right now. He's selling the most merch, I believe. I think he just surpassed Reigns and Cody and Punk. He's running around stacks of money, so you can clearly see he's selling something. Okay. One, uh, did anybody else pause the video to see if it said motion capture picture money? Or is that just me? Oh no, I didn't say it. No, I didn't do it. I'm not it's not that deep for me. It's not deep. I somebody told me I read like a really long time ago that you'll never see a real money on set. It has to use motion capture picture money. It will always say those words on it. So me just going, hold on. And then zoomed in. I was on my computer. I literally just like control scrolled in. And that wasn't even Benjamin's face on the hundred. And I was like, <laughs> what? So that's what caught my eye. So I was like, that doesn't look like Benjamin Franklin. Give me give me one second. <laughs> was Nicholas Cage. <laughs> so 
This may be weird. It's fine. I know, uh, obviously, this is a long time ago, back in the 1900s, but uh, Ted DiBiase had actual money, and I, Vince McMahon made sure... Vince McMahon made sure that he would go and take out $2,000 yep. and make sure he had the crispiest $100 bills. He would not let him have any worn or any like shit like that. So Ted DiBiase had real money. He showed it in people's mouths. Yeah, but he made sure like it had to be brand new, crispy. There, it couldn't be any old be, bills or nothing. Had to be if you're gonna shove it in people's mouths, yeah. or that it wasn't like. No, I got sick. Got poisoned. <laughs> I failed my drug test a, because there was coke on that dollar. And a stripper's ass. Yeah, like they were got pink eye, got pink yeah. eye and coke. All in one fell sweet. Thanks for that, Ted. Yeah. But everybody got a coke bump. <laughs> so <Poor> it, <laughs> you almost had to back then. I feel like it was Especially the warrior. Oh, shit. He was on a little bit more than just coke. <laughs> he was on everything. He was, yeah, yeah. Other than Jay, what about Jimmy? What's his, what's his year look like? I don't know, Jimmy. Man. He's over the place too. Like, he's pissing off Roman Reigns. We saw that on what you would say is Monday night. It was Friday night. So we I saw know. him get annoyed and say, "I don't know about you Jimmy." Keep joking around. You think Jimmy just made into obscurity? How is how Reigns completely forgot that he's super kicked him how many times? Like it's just like okay, you're back now. And he, but that's the thing he didn't forget because they he made mention of it so to speak when he was trying to get back in the fold. He's like, really? You think you're just gonna be welcome back after everything you did? And it's like, well, I, I I was just trying to get Jimmy. I was doing or Jay. I was trying to just do what's best for Jay. Bitch, please come on. And he's all over the place. Jay. Yeah, his his storyline does uh, not make his arc is so confusing. I, I think, and we talked about it before on on the show, and then Lane, you and I talked about it too. Jimmy's the one that's going to be the odd man out when it comes to attack things split up. Jimmy can't carry himself in a solo enough to be decent which, enough to stay, which is interesting. Kind of fades out. Look at look at the stats. More people up until the the split. More people preferred Jimmy. Everybody thought Jimmy was the better mm. on the mic. Jimmy was better wrestler, but Jimmy was more technical. And then Jay was kind of sidekick. And then with the split, we saw the forced flip of now Jay's being shoved down our throat, or was until whatever happened recently. Hey, when the whole bloodline thing kicked off, I. I seen it. I mean, Jay was better on the mic than Jimmy. There's, it was everything. Like Jimmy was gone. Jimmy seems to be struggling on the mic when he talks. Like, mm -hmm. and sh absolutely, just kayfabe. It's story, whatever. But it's more noticeable, and maybe it'll play out in the long term. Of yes, I'm not like this. All just mentally fucked with me, and that's his story arc. But it's rough at times to hear Jimmy talk and uh, see him try to compose a sentence or compose whatever he's trying to get his thought out to. And you're just like, what is going on? You were so much better on the mic than Jay. Like, what What the fuck? What happened? Confidence yeah. in y'all. Yeah. I just took it from the, blood, the bloodline dissolve and Jimmy will be a mid-card guy at that or just fade away. I don't think he gets any type of push of any kind. I, only I, get can, the see title. The, I can see the Usos getting back together before he falls off, though. I think it, it's that it, they they both they both leave and come back. I mean that could that could be a thing because I don't know how long Jay's gonna last as a solo. I think that was a, I, a I think anyways. that that will depend on. I will touch attack titles. I think that'll depend on if he gets the IC title. And how well he's received by the audience, and how well he actually does, because he's going to get a title. Like I, mm -hmm. I this is going to happen. They're going to test the waters and see how it works for him. And there's a very good chance that if he gets the title and Jimmy gets kicked out or whatever, Jimmy could also get the U.S. title. But again, that defeats the purpose of Ellie Knight. Um, but Jimmy's going to get the title, 
And I feel like there's going to come a point when almost Jay, or Jimmy, sorry, Jay gets the title, Jimmy comes back and kind of like begs on his knees. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, I, I, I didn't mean to super kick you. Roman Reigns was manipulating me and all this stuff. He was messing with my head. He made all these promises. He's gone. Reigns is gone. I'm so sorry. And then you start seeing Jimmy in Jay's corner. Yeah. I, I don't think that happens this year. That's going to be like next year. I think Jimmy will become a jobber before it happens. I mean, at that point, that's what he's becoming because he's, he's crawling back and forth to each, each person to try and take me back. I think this kills his character if he's doing that. But I mean, yeah, that's what's going to happen with him. He's going to he's going to fade away if they don't become attack him again and get the championships back. Yeah. Uh, but they just split those damn things up, dude. Hey, yeah, hundred percent. Split them up. Yeah. Yeah, they have to, man. That's that's a, yeah, they do. Well, that's where like the conundrum lies. Those I've I've said this numerous times. The tag team division is not very large. It's, it's a, not. It's a shell of what it used to be. So it's either get rid of them all together or if we're going to really work on these stables and let stables be three man groups, then make it guaranteed tag team solo has yeah. like, that's the only, the form, the only formula they can use. And at that point, make it where, you know, if there's five stables on each, which gives you, you know, five tag teams on each and just do one, tag title and let them bounce between raw and smackdown or combine them with nxt like they did the women's and you now have a third roster smackdown raw nxt and the best part of all that is that's that's uh viewership from the audience especially with nxt going to cw yep. uh, smackdown going to usa yep. this year and then raw going to netflix what better way to have three totally different brand or three totally different channels? Be like, okay, well now we're gonna bring tag team title gold over to uh, CW. We're also gonna show it on USA. We're gonna show it on Netflix, and see kind of where that pop gets the most and where the viewership gets the most, and you can kind of judge from there. But two yeah. tag team titles is stupid. It's a fucking waste. It needs to be one or. Yeah, unify it, make it one damn belt, quit carrying two of them around, whatever, just, it's stupid. Gotta get rid of these, these red and blue color schemes. Yeah. Go back to black Agreed. straps. They look so much nicer and cleaner and better. The red and blue make it look like a joke. I mean, they are a joke, but, you know. That's not the point. Not the point, so... But you also have to have serious contendership for the tag title too, rather than yeah. Cody's going to team up with Jay. What? Yeah, the, yeah, all the stables that they're building. I mean, they're they're but, building more tag yeah. teams. It seems like with the stables. Well, yeah, I mean, well, you have really building more. DIY is a good tag team. Keep them together. Creed Brothers is a good tag team. Street Profits need to be thrown back in the mix a lot more. Which we're going to um, see but, once they're done with this. Yeah, Final quit, quit judgment this, or final, whatever. Quit this Finn Balor, Damian Priest shit, the Sami Zayn, KO, Jay and Cody. What was the point of bringing Jay from Jimmy, splitting them up to bring Jay over and make him a tag champion with Cody for a little bit? Like, that if fun. you can answer that, you'll be answering the question of millions because that is the biggest yeah. question that popped off was, I'm sorry, so we're just going to separate Jay from his tag team partner to then partner up with some random dude. Right. What? But if we could start bringing back those, those teams, I mean, make it a division again, man. Get away from these, I don't know, super teams, I guess, if you want to call them that. Faux teams. That's what I would call it. Yeah. So it's all, I mean, there's good, there's good tag teams. They're just, they're not showing them. They're buried. Like the Creed brothers are good. Like that was a good, that, that match you and I saw live, man. That was a good match. Those dudes can wrestle. They can put on a show. Yeah. NXT has a lot of good tag tag teams. Yeah. There too. I don't think I've seen them since that since that. Creed, no. They've been on NXT. They were just in yeah. the the. Just so, which is so dumb. Yeah. Like uh, you get you this good push on Raw, classic, whatever. Back to back to elementary school. Would you guys just learn? Yeah. Like they put on a hell of a match. 
Well, Rich Holland's in NXT now, too. Really? Yeah, they brought him down. Well, Butch is back to Pete, Pete Dunn. Should Which, okay. That makes total sense and it's perfect. Oh, I'm good with that. I'm uh, good with that. Yeah. The Butch dude is stupid. Nate, uh, Tyler. His name, Nate. Yeah. That dude can wrestle his ass off, too. Yes. British strong yeah. style. That duo right there is granted not the biggest guys, but that's a no, decent tag team there. But they were they were amazing in NXT. Mm -hmm. Those two were amazing in NXT. They had great runs. Uh, but Dude, also... I, I, I don't even mind pretty deadly at this point. At least it's a goddamn tag team that's like unified and they actually have something. <laughs> Sick hates it. <laughs> Dude, they're annoying as shit, but at least they match and they're a freaking tag team. Yeah, I had to say they match. <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> it's too much. It's just overly too it's... much. I what? Remember what I told you? They're they're the New Age Rockers. That's what that's we needed. What, that's what they are. The New Age Rockers. They're, they are the Kmart not, hey, version of hey, New Age Rockers. They're not. They're not the heroes we wanted. They're the heroes we needed. <laughs> we don't even need them. Fade <laughs> off into the distance right away. But I mean, you have. Yeah, but NXT though had all the all the solid tag teams, pretty dead at least from NXT. Yeah, keep the new day running again, man. You, they kept trying to split those guys up so goddamn much for a while. Like they got a hard time going up for them too. Yeah, well, they're hard. They're Kofi's challenging Gunther little. for IC next yeah, week. This, yeah, or that's yesterday when this match. Right. That's yeah. all it's gonna fucking be. It's just a filler match. They'll get back into the tag team stuff. I mean. Even Imperium, uh, Ludwig and Giovanni. I mean, whatever, dude. If they can make it work, keep them a tag team. I don't well, give a that's, shit. That's another that's thing like, that's confusing, though. Like, I, that's confusing. That whole team is confusing. Well, that dude, one dude can't stay healthy. Not Ludwig. Luke, whatever fuck his name, Kaiser. Giovanni. But the other dude can't. Yeah, he can't stay healthy. He's always fucking healthy. Yeah. But that's well, the he's perfect taking the gnarly like, bumps. faction, like you were talking about, like. You could have Ludwig and Giovanni, and then you have yep. Gunther, your solo. Perfect. Yep. Boom. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, same with, like, the Pride, Bobby Lashley and Street Profits. You have yeah. Lashley, who is a le legit fucking beast and a powerhouse. And then you have Street Profits, who are also amazing tag team combo. Mm -hmm. And then you have the final Testament. verdict. Testament. Final oh, Testament. Test Test Testament, yep. AOP. Tag team with their own little manager, creepy old dude, and you have Carrying Cross, which he's a floater, but he could also be IC or US title. I don't see yeah. him ever going to uh, big picture, but again, perfect. Jinder Mahal has his as well. We'll do the OC o for a while. When you had a a AJ and you had the OC and you had, you know what I mean, like Misha. they were okay. Yep. And that that's actually probably the the. The better style of faction because you have you have three guys and a girl, so you have a woman who can go be in the women's division and get you know stable light. You have tag who can be in the tag team division. You have a solo who can be in singles, and like that that would be ideal. But you're not gonna have too many stables that are going to include men and women. It's typically one or the other. Even uh, though Alpha Academy, but that doesn't work because she's weird. That, not at all. No, not her. You can't have Chad Gable, Otis, and uh, the Akira Desawa. Desawa. Yes. So, for his fucking name, that doesn't that is work. A, that is a weird combination. That's I mean, that doesn't work. It it makes sense on paper with what they were trying to do with the Alpha Academy, but Alpha yeah. Academy now has become a joke. It was a yeah. well, it was a it was a ripoff of the NXT mm -hmm. uh, fucking college or whatever they had. Yeah, that construction thing. paper. Yeah, so they had they had that, but Chase then, University. Yeah, that's this, what it was. Speaking of Chad, or yeah, Chad Gable. Gable, yes. Chase. Where, where do we see him this year? Because he's also another one. Is like he's been pushed. But not fully pushed. They can't commit to him. But he's been pushed into the IC picture, and in my opinion, should have won the IC. It's almost another LA night. It's almost another LA night. Yeah. 
He uh, should have been up there. I don't think he's nearly it. He's not that. He, he hasn't got yeah. that same he's popularity he was, push. The push wise, I say he was getting as far as uh, yeah. match wise. Yeah. Popularity, no. Push wise, yes. Um, I feel like he's had more title like matches than LA. <laughs> Very well cut up. He had his. I, th- I think he had his I, uh, his rubber matches with Gunther. Yeah, three P. Like. Three P. So, that three pleased, that pleased you. so, and I don't know. It's they had some weird angles with that one with his kid being involved and everything kind of else. But, but that was another storyline. Like they ran so long and then just randomly went pff, gone. Yeah, yeah. It never got mm-hmm. closure. It never got an end. It was just kind of like, okay, we're moving on from this. It's like, well, hold on. Yeah. What the f- Mm-hmm. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, he's he's the new Kurt Angle, but he's not as he's, he's not big. Like he's a small dude as, as well. Like it's hard to sell a guy like that above an IC title, US title. Yep. Obviously, Ray did it, but that's still a hard sell to anybody uh, to say, yeah, Ray was Ray was a heavyweight champion. I, I will say, I think we will see a lot more smaller wrestlers than these brick shit houses. Now that Vince is gone. We're not going to see just, you know, you know, Lesnar's and Reigns and Cena and Batista style body bodybuilders being heavyweight champion or world champion. Um, Seth being kind of proof of it. Let's put him on it and then let's I'm sure we'll see Shinsuke Nakamura as a title holder again, mostly to appease the all Japan. Probably. Yeah, but he also he's worked his ass off and he's on a good run right now, so he has yeah. kind of earned it. And he I like pretty gnarly. E- evil, evil Shinsuke, man. I like it. You know, I will say this. You know what? Because Shinsuke has kind of done this, I want them to bring back the Jumbotron or the Triton Tron. Whatever. With actual like snippets of matches how they used to be. Instead of just here's a colorful background, here's their name, all their, music. All their intros and stuff. Yeah. A legit like You want the attitude or matchup. It's what yeah, <laughs> ideally, idea, but just like same with like the promos, the the cut scenes yeah, and everything. The they they, I, they yeah, were no, just I, better. I, I'm not saying it's because you know 1900s fuckers. What? <laughs> just the <laughs> it, fuck your guys' dad, didn't I? It, it really was the late it, late it, 1900s. <laughs> it felt more composed as a show to have like kind of like here's their highlight reel. Here, you know, because there's some matches that people forget about. And when you see in the highlight reel, you're like, oh, oh, yeah, shit, that was a good match. Now you're like, here's a sparkly background. Here's a ring of fire. Cool SR. Awesome. This is, I don't like the intros. I think the intros are very, very boring. And with Shinsuke's like whole anime CGI thing. Graphic shit. Oh, I hate that. I can't like when you're that. watching it on TV. Yeah, yeah like the, the big Roman Reigns with the big sword for uh, Drew McIntyre. Here's the thing. Like, no, just stop. I don't. And the gigantic viper and all that shit. I don't hate them. I don't love them. But I don't hate them either. My only thing I've told Rago this multiple times is knowing that that's not there <laughs> when you're watching it live. And it's pure production value. Would piss me off if like I've only ever seen it on TV. I've only ever watched on Netflix or Hulu or whatever. And I'm going to my first live event. And you have all this animatronics. You have all this lights and all this pyro. You're looking and you're going, the fuck is the Viper? <laughs> like, it'd be a little bit of a letdown. Never have ever talked to you on. again if you were expecting that. Like, um, so Sig's done on the show. He thought the Viper was no. real. <laughs> You also look for the yellow line on the field when you go to a live football match too, right? Yeah, that's why I was never good at it. For the blue the yellow line. Blue I'm line. sorry. Look if I take that. you to your first live event and you're like, hey, where's the Viper? I'm like, dude, just get the fuck out of here, man. Like, please, please. I want a refund. Here. Give me my money back. <laughs> See, you're done. No, I only I say that because like again, my kids have watched it with me, and my daughter has pointed it out. That's so cool! Oh, I want to see that. It's like, oh, you can't. I had to like explain. It. You can't. This isn't like this isn't real. This is all production, post production. But to hear be like, what? So there are some kids out there, maybe even some teenagers and adults, a little bit slower than Roggle, but you being one, I'll be. I mean, I'm slow. I. Do video production, so I know it's not real, but it's just one of those things that like the new age kids coming up and being and 
golf tonight. I'd be like, oh, that's not there. I just want my. I want back. more pyro. I want pyro like there used to be. Like when WCW would start, the entire area was smoked out. It was foggy throughout the entire show. It was just... shit like that. <laughs> yeah. That's the shit that in the ramp. <laughs> Goldberg's walking out, inhaling and blowing out smoke the entire way to the ring. Shit like that. Like, I want pyro like that again. I yeah. just don't want Goldberg again. Wait, that's did you see the. Goldberg. There's. That's his face the rumble. Yeah, that's actually that's one of the rumors I saw. Horish <laughs> That there's a theory out there that somebody puts like, what if Goldberg comes back and and he takes on I think it was Seth and he beats Seth and he goes on throughout the year and all of a sudden after he beats Seth he looks in the into the camera and he knows Cody has already won his match and he goes, Cody, you're next. And then we get unified again because he defeats Cody Rhodes. And now Bill <laughs> Goldberg has two titles. Hey, you remember when Walking you remember when Lance said everybody. Remember Lance said you saw that Viper thing? From what you just said, please get up and walk <laughs> away. <laughs> You're done. Can't I'm recording this. You know that a scene from uh, I think it's Billy Madison where he's like little kid. <laughs> We're all now dumber. <laughs> that. That right there. You all think and they got that mercy on your soul. I don't think Gunther's gonna win. Uh, that Goldberg back to Gunther. I hate well, no, Goldberg no. Goldberg comes no. back. No. Gunther eliminates him. No. Goldberg's going to AEW no. anyways, it's fine. Gunther can at least wrestle a little bit. Uh, uh yeah. Goldberg, Goldberg yeah. could nothing. Goldberg was entertaining. Gunther is not. Was he entertaining? Was he really? Was he yes, he was. yes. I'm, well, I'm thinking of the Taker versus Goldberg was match. That was not, not entertaining. The streak, the streak that, that he had in WCW was entertaining. Everything about it was entertaining. The streak right. was a lie. Yes, it was a hey, lie. But hey, I don't know if you know this. Yeah, a it's hundred of those matches. Yeah, okay. it's everything's fabricated. Your intelligence is fabricated. That's for sure. Your mind's a fabrication. They were more entertained than Gunther. He walked out there and fought for a minute. Yes, but he's still more entertained than Gunther. This is the one time, guys, I want you to mark this down <laughs> on the calendar. January 23rd, 11.36 p.m. that I'm defending Gunther because Goldberg was fucking... Yeah. Horrible. I, I, I just don't like Gunther. But yes, Goldberg's matches were terrible. Way more entertaining than Gunther's. Come out, breathe in smoke, blow it out, spear somebody, jackhammer, go in the back. It's cool. like way more entertaining than Gunther's. He no, you're, done his whole little like documentary thing so where he's like, high. I didn't know how to wrestle. I didn't know what I was getting myself mm -hmm. into. They just told me I had to last sixty seconds to three minutes, and that's all. And then when he got to the WWE, he struggled because they're like, you need to last 10 minutes or 6 minutes or 30 minutes, and he couldn't do it. Still more than to go there. No, it's not. Yes. I don't like either 100%. one of them. But Gunther can at least walk and, you know, move for a bit. And two gobble bubblegum and rub his belly at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the only... We're going to wrap this up. In the next few minutes, not to wrap fucking Roggle up this stupid ass comments. <laughs> Wait till Saturday or take pictures if you do it beforehand. That's all I ask. Seth Rollins. We haven't touched him at all in this whole thing. Nothing changes. I, I know there's gonna be some changes. He needs a fucking break, dude. Something is gonna happen. Punk is gonna win the belt eventually. And he's going to get that break. He's going to, you said it already. He's going to take a hiatus for a while. He needs it. The dude, I love him. He's a workhorse. He's awesome. I love that he gives the fans what they want and gets out there every night. But he dude, it's surgery. still the human. It's still the human body. It can only take so much of that shit. Whether you want to use that dirty F word or not, it still takes its toll. And he needs a break, man. The dude needs a fucking break. Well, he has his 
bad back that has been bad for years. He needs surgery. Yep. He now has his knee. Like, the Which dude needs need surgery. surgery. Yep. He needs surgery. And honestly, let him drop to Punk at WrestleMania. Hopefully, he can make it to then. But let him drop it to Punk at WrestleMania and just kind of coast off in the sunset and come back at Royal Rumble next year and have him be the big pop because the amount, man. the amount of or the loudness of his pop that he would get if he was out from WrestleMania 40 to Royal Rumble 2025 would be oh. honestly I think it would be bigger than John Cena coming back so quickly and doing astronomical a dude astronomical. It, it would be up there I, I would almost and this is me just because I have started liking Seth a little bit more than Edge it may be bigger than the Edge's return. That's like, big. up there. It is, but... That's big. Edge doesn't have people singing a song. Not much to no, sing, but... but Edge's was... That was a big one, dude. That was insane. Yes. Yeah. So are you both leaning towards CM Punk possibly? I know Sigur talked about CM Punk possibly winning the Rumble and facing Rollins at Mania. I've said this before. It, Punk or Cody's going to win... Royal Rumble. Whoever doesn't win between those two will win at Elimination Chamber to get their world title match at WrestleMania. So either which way, the marquee matches for WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2 will be Cody Rhodes versus hopefully Randy Orton, but Roman Reigns more likely, and it'll be Punk versus Seth Rollins. We're going to see those two matchups, uh, and that's going to be Night 1, Night 2. And again, and I would love to see Rollins hold that belt for another year, but he needs a break, man. The dude yeah. is just, he is balls to the wall or, every damn week, and he needs a break. Or if they want to, like, protect Rollins a little bit more, is let him and Punk feud, or fight at WrestleMania. Priest comes out, cashes in, makes a triple threat, therefore no DQ. And either Punk pins Priest... Ideally, so where Punk can get the title, or Priest pins Punk, but Rollins is not in the equation at all. At that point, he's protected. He never lost it, and when he does come back and he wins 2025 Royal Rumble, he can say, "I'm going back for the title I never lost." Dude, that we be have so... a year-long build-up of well, when's he going to come back? When's he going to come back? And if they could keep it a secret, like, I mean, it's so hard, but man, if you could even just not even hint that he's going to come back and you hear that freaking, oh, dude, that his would be, place would go nuts. His would be a lot easier because Becky Lynch is also in the WWE and she could manipulate social media and make it seem like, oh, he's at home taking care of their kid or he's on vacation or we're on vacation or, you know, hold old photos of him in a knee brace or in recovery. That's a perfect situation that they could play out longevity wise and keep it very well underneath wraps versus the rock making an appearance at Royal rumble. There's already rumors flying around and there's already speculation because he's supposed to be at the rumble. There's already speculation that undertaker may be in the rumble because I want that now. So it's one of those that would be like, it would, it would be, Oz, I think it could be an epic return and it could be kept secret. It would be even better. If it's kept secret, it will be bigger than Edge. I'm calling it. So, are you thinking they hold the surgery up until after? Because they already said he's going to have the surgery. They can do minor surgery without having to do the whole thing. So, where he still wears a knee brace and he's. Yeah, they can, like, it's they only a great two tear. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a great two tear. It's, only a, it's a four week recovery. Yeah, as he's long as they a, don't discover anything else. Yeah, but I'm, I'm assuming from what they've done, and again, it could be embellished from what they have. I'm sorry. Do you trust? Do you trust the doctors? Do you trust me? Because I'm telling you, my doctor do, just went. Oop! I dropped it. Do you trust everything the, the wrestler says? It Absolutely. may not be a great two tear. On the internet, something very minimal. <laughs> but my thing on is, the that internet, he can easily have, the, have the surgery and then be ready by mania, which is what he said he wants to do. Yeah, if that's the case. Cool. I think his, his main thing is his back. Yes, his leg now, but his back is the main thing that he needs to yep. rest for sure. I yeah, I don't see him past summer surgery on his back. If that is a surgery as well. Yep. 
Yeah, if, if it's not Mania, it's, I think, SummerSlam at that and done, if there's a SummerSlam or whatever the hell, something along those lines, and then he's done for a while. But I don't know if it's going to be a, a, you know, longer than six-month hiatus. I don't know. He's there. I hope he's deserved it. I hope it's oh, WrestleMania yeah. at the Royal Rumble, man, because that would be so freaking great, man. And if I'm right, by the way, I deserve a job at WWE as a writer. Just saying. I'll bring you guys on board. Don't worry. I, I guess right. Where do I sign the contract? <laughs> That'll be the last episode. So welcome back. This is the final episode. Uh, pin, paper, WWE contract. <laughs> Your guys is in the middle. That'd be, <laughs> be fucking... Um, I want that now. Like, that's what I want to happen now. It would work. It would work out perfectly, honestly. But huh. it, it's interesting that we have who else in the main picture? Nobody gives a shit about Logan Paul. We have Ellie Knight winning. We have Roman Reigns, hopefully Randy. We have Seth. We have Gunther, nobody cares about. Bronson oh, guess... Reed will get thrown in there at some point. I guess Somebody we said Bronson Reed. Reed. He is. He'll get thrown in there at some point. Who? He's not. He's not ready for main title picture. I didn't say main title. He'll get thrown in somewhere. You say Bronson Reed? Yep. I don't see him getting anything big yet. No. This will be a proving year, uh, maybe next year. Unless it's a U.S. title, but again, defeats Ellie Knight. I mean, it's just a title. I'm not saying heavyweight title. I know. I don't. Either somewhere. Okay, so that leaves. So we have not talked mm-hmm. about them at all. <laughs> Much, uh, EO Sky damage control. What's their play out for the year? What damage, I, con- dude? Damage control at some point is gonna have all the belts, man. I don't like this group at all. Ta- tag team titles, both women's titles and the NXT title. And then Dakota Kai is gonna go get the NXT title. That's what she because she needs to be in NXT. That's uh, where that's where she. Bailey needs to be in NXT. Bailey's, hey, well, Bailey's gonna beat Rhea. You're you're letting your hatred turn you into Raw. <laughs> Ra- if that was true, I would say Charlotte Flair deserves to be in NXT. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, I will say that's true. He hates Charlotte Flair. She <laughs> you'd rather go to AEW. Look, I don't I don't I don't hate her. I hate what she's been given unjustifiably. Oh, yeah. She has the name Flair. That's the only reason why she's mm. she's gotten what she's got. He's not. So we have we, Bailey beating Rhea, and then the they beat for the tag titles, and then she drops down to NXT. So they run with that for, a, and it may not be a long time, but I think that women's division definitely needs something. And if it's going to be this, that kind of kickstarts everything for it because they have a lot of potential in the women's division yeah a lot of the women's division is better than some of the men's division the tag team yeah. is a joke on both sides i say collectively as a whole the women's is more well equipped to have a better division than men's men's is all well could plus they, they it gives them time to build up tag teams that are not thrown together Granted, the same on men's as well. But I think they revamped the, the women's. Yes. They throw together decent tag teams. They figure out that Rhea doesn't need to be a champion because she's boring right now. EO's, EO's decent. I think Bailey can keep EO it going for a while. sucks on the mic. That's like damage control as a whole. Bailey I, and I Dakota agree. are the only two who have any type of mic skill. Bailey's will, fucking annoying. Agree. Dakota is, and eh, she's hit and miss. So, the damage control Wait, continues look, on look the. Look at, look at, look at, L- lights Oscar. I love those guys on the mic. <laughs> I love how excited they get. <laughs> and that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. It has nothing to, it was just, it's more of like, it's, the language barrier comes across as like, I don't it's know tough. whether, they're super happy and they're excited or they're saying something very mean and hurtful and dirty to the, like 
there's such a diff because Oscar's always smiling. So I'm like, ah, okay. Let me listen to the tone now. Don't don't come, come, come to my house. You feel the same way when some people are screaming or talking. You have no idea what's going on. I understand <laughs> a smidgen of Spanish. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, you, she said this. You doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't who's matter. she calling that? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> think, you think you know. Don't matter. <laughs> you have no idea. Don't matter. I could piss them all off in one phrase of going, uh, Spain is say, real Spanish, and just piss everybody off. <laughs> oh, Dude, they say, they say words they make up and shit that only they know, and they start yelling at you, you just look at them like... And they, uh, oh, okay. I think that was, this <laughs> may also help with the New Japan Pro Wrestling, too, with, with them being there, mm -hmm. having what they yeah. have as yep. well now who did you say for uh the may show up in the rumble okada okada male i don't know what the, no i know i just i don't know what the hell's gonna happen with with all that but i think with well, those there's two the women from stronger there's two women that are supposed to show up from all japan too for Royal Rumble. i just don't know who they are like i the names that i read i can't find them on AEW. they haven't appeared on tna slash impact they're strictly all Japan, so that's the problem. It's like finding the name and searching it, and it's not being in English all the time. And me going, I don't know if you're the right person. So, yeah, but they're supposed to be the rumor is four, three or four all Japan wrestlers are supposed to be at Rumble. I assume two guys, two, two girls, but I don't know. Oh, okay, kind is the only one I've oh. seen since he is no longer with Japan Pro Wrestling. That. He is slated to come over to WWE as part of a trade type deal, which is like Shinsuke is supposed to go back over there and wrestle for a little bit. David, true. Yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens with Damage Control, but I think that helps boost the the women's division a little more. It helps them figure out what they're going to do with them. They're doing more. Look, as much as I don't like them, they're doing more for women's division than Rhea Ripley seems to have done in a year. I did yeah, lost they lost so much with her. Well, because she wrestled, she got the title, she was supposedly injured, so she couldn't there was so much hope. She yeah. couldn't make big moves. She faced Natalia fucking umpteen thousand goddamn times for the damn title. Mm -hmm. I get it. Like she's a safe bet. She can put it on a show for somewhat of a sh show, in my opinion. Yeah. But she faced Natalia so much to the point I think like the first two or three months it was just natty, natty, natty. It's like, we get it. Yeah. We get it. Dude, Cat, one, one of her best, best matches was Zelina Vega at yep. what payback? That was like yeah, her best Puerto match. Yeah. yeah. She's and another she one that needs a new finishing move. You that? don't like the riptide? She can't do it. That she does struggle a lot with. She it. can't do it. It's I. I know she's a brick shit house. She's built, yeah. but she can't. She's fucked that move up so many times. Unless it's Zelina Vega or some other tiny ass wrestler, she yeah. can't do it. Yeah, she has botched it so many times. But I mean, I don't know what the hell to do with her. But that's, that's one of those things. Like, but that's one of those things. Like, is it? Is it a hundred percent with her? Or is it like, you know, her opponents are not trusting her so much type thing or they're not going with it because that's the problem is like five star or the frog splash your opponent just really needs to lay still and you yeah. jump off spear you just need to take it choke slam just take it big boot just take it like all these simplistic moves where it's just kind of fall back rip tight somebody has to jump up yeah. go sideways and fall but if it happens with multiple other wrestlers yeah other than ones that she can power up on her own yeah not not great. Yes, yeah. some of the ability that happens within the women's division. It's not to knock on them. It's just that happens. Yeah. There are a lot more moves that get botched or messed up within that. And it's just I don't know if it's you know the ability to do some of the moves or understand them. You know, but it's just it happens more times than not with that move. Yeah. When it's not, not somebody that's like Zelina Vegas size. Yeah. I'm not arguing. I'm just like. It's one of the things of uh, I blame Chris Jericho so much on his podcast, <laughs> ranting about this type of stuff. But it's one of those things like, well, how much of it is, is it her or is it the other person? Because mm -hmm. like she's not gonna rip tight Nia Jax, ain't no way. No, she's gonna blow her back and her knees out, try and just lift her off. 
just get on our tippy toes. And whereas compar <laughs> comparison to like Becky Lynch, <clears throat> she should be able to lift her up. And yeah, I know no there's problem. been like one or two spots where she struggled a little bit, but she still got it. Again, Becky Lynch should be good enough to do it type thing. But the bigger girls are more well built girls. I don't know how to phrase it with that game. Sound like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a tough it's a tough move to pull off and it's not the right one that I think that she's doing. I don't know. It just doesn't work. No. I would go like, with like a spear she or She couldn't do it to Raquel. She Raquel's couldn't do it to Raquel. Girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you did, you know, because like Bianca, she's strong. Like Bianca yes. can throw them girls up on her shoulder. Like yep. I don't care if it's Raquel, I don't care if it's Rhea. She throws them up there. Bianca's strong, dude. She can uh, bench press them over her head, with the exception oh, yeah. of Nia Jax. But well, she always clears them. That. So it's one of those things. Like I, I, I'm with you on it, but it's just one of those things. Of like, well, can't put all onus on her. Even though I think yeah. she probably should hit the gym a little bit more, maybe with Bianca, and get a little bit stronger. Maybe she should just stick to that. Uh, what is it? That like reverse Boston crab or sharpshooter oh, thing yeah. she does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can see new move set from her, but she's well overdue for a whole kayfabe facelift, for the most part. While her dark and broody works, her move set is clunky. Her maneuvering is clunky as a whole, and again, she, her run as a women's championship is a joke. And she it's boring, extremely boring. Yeah, that's true. But uh, other than that, we have Becky Lynch. Thoughts, perspectives. If what does happen with damage control happens, then I think that's where she'll come into play with the world title and stop putting over uh, NXT or younger talent, but she has been feuding with Nia Jax because of a broken nose. Uh, Nia Jax made her the man. That was this underlying story. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get past that storyline and then just start feuding with them to get to get back in the title. title she's been out of it for a long time, for over yeah. past a year and a half. Over a year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, I think she, she's still gonna be she's still gonna be a main card girl for sure. Um, she'll get back into the title mix. I don't think she's gonna win it this year. I don't think she's gonna take it from anybody. Um, I think uh, I don't know, man. I don't. I think Bailey's gonna take it from Rhea. I think Bailey has it for a while. I think Io loses hers before Bailey does. And I think that's going to probably end up being, you're going to hate this, but I think that's going to be in Sasha that takes that. Dude, yeah. Sasha's coming back. Dude, don't. She I don't think she is. She's coming back. Dude. She what is. about Alexa Bliss? What if she comes back? Where does she fall in everything? Because she's going to yeah. come back at some point. She's, she's going to come back. But, uh, WrestleMania. But, like, uh, I think she's going to fall into that role again with Tyler. I won't say Bo. And uh, I think that's where she's going to be. I don't think she needs that. Um, I think she will get some main event cards. Like she had that title shot against Bianca at Royal Rumble last year, but I don't think it was a real shot per se. You know what I mean? When she comes back, she needs her own stable. Whether with Tyler, she needs a stable. Yeah. She she would work better as a stable or the mouthpiece, so to speak, so where she can kind of wrestle occasionally, but because she's really got on the mic. Dude, she like she doesn't get enough credit sometimes, I think, for like how personality wise, how good she actually is. You smile at that. <laughs> Just to hear you go on how good she is. Dude. Obviously, I'm being a little biased. Like, <laughs> just a little. But, right. like... Nah. Ignore the wall. <laughs> nah, she She's underrated. I will say that. I will give you that. She's definitely underrated. Yeah. But same with, like, Liv Morgan. Super underrated. Yeah. 
and yeah, now you're smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sh- so shut up. <laughs> They're the same Sorry, size. Wall plaster. Yeah, well, you got stupid, ugly monsters behind you. This is one of your favorite <laughs> ugly monsters. So I, yeah, I love, I love Predator. <laughs> <laughs> but I, Alexa, I, she's gonna, she's gonna come back. She's gonna make an impact, but I don't see her being in the title push right away or anything. No. She might get something later on, but I don't. That's not gonna be right away. I think she's gonna build a faction. I think she's gonna build, like you said, she's gonna. I don't want to say she's going to be Bray. No. Because she's not. But she's. I think she's going to... It's going to be in that direction. The dark side. It'd be awesome yeah. to see yeah. that. That's what needs to happen, I think. I, the promos that we've seen from Tyler and everything, I think it, it would work amazing. I, I, I would like to see not only Tyler and Alexis, but bring Liv in. Because Liv can go batshit crazy. Mm-hmm. And let her be the, the twisted sister, so to speak, just fucking crazy as hell, uncontrollable, and re- releasing her inner demons, like Tyler was talking about on his promos. Um, mm-hmm. And plus, I think her and Alexis would be a good pair too, and then bring in another Bro, you girl. You say Alexis. Guy. You say Alexis one more time instead of Alexa. Alexis. Alexis, I'm going with we're, Alexis. We're gonna, we're gonna have some issues on Saturday, bro. Damn, 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 damn when Dingo's and Alexis, when uh, Dingo and Alexis is, she's gonna come back. That's gonna be her new character. She's gonna come back as the Dark Windy, <laughs> the Dark Windinga. Come out, come out wearing deer antlers. The headdress. Yep, the whole headdress of <laughs> Windingo. I'm the Dark Windingo. Let me in. <laughs> no, lights are gonna cut off. She's gonna go. From Alexa to Wendingo. <laughs> and it's all because of the Harrison Ford production line. Yeah. <laughs> you kept saying Alexa, so I just watched his face get more and more serious. He's I like, know. mother, <laughs> fucker. I'm at this point right. where I'm like, I'm going to see how Put far I can go before somebody, <laughs> before somebody corrects me. Put some respect but on her I'm name. literally just reading the back wall, too. I was like, Yep, let's just keep going. Nope, no one's gonna stop me. Okay, <laughs> dive into this. Um, but she, her and Livni being a faction, Tyler, they'd be a good, they'd be a good one, they'd be a good tag team. Shit, yeah, yeah as long as they got the crazy persona, the dark and crazy. Okay, persona. here, I want to ask a quick question. Speaking of crazy fucking people, what is going on with Nikki Cross? Is there anything else? Wait, is she still in? She Dude, is. I what was the one I was watching was like two or three weeks ago where someone was just walking by the camera and in the background she was just standing behind some shit just staring oh, at the. The last thing I know? saw, she's supposed to be. They're supposed to be bringing back um, insanity or whatever her faction was with those three boys. Those three guys. Do, do you okay. know she? She's got a lot going on in real life too. She's actually becoming a doctor, as yeah. well. So oh, she's got a lot going on that way. So. With her becoming a doctor, her ability to get injured would really jeopardize becoming yeah. a doctor. So no, that's cool. That's Respect, one big man. thing. Yeah. The weirdest thing was when she had a met that uh, battle royal that went on, and she just stood there. Yeah. And then they tossed her out, oh, and she shit. still just stood there. Like, what the she, fuck? Watch her show. That one where <laughs> they, were, they were just walking. And all of a sudden, in the background, she's like hiding behind some like scaffolding. She, you see her. She's had several yeah. of those where she's not yeah. a promo or anything. She's just kind of back there. I'm like, what? yeah, so she, yeah. I, yeah, so she's, I she's, haven't she's, seen her though in a bit. So she's becoming a doctor. I, I haven't seen her recently, but that's cool though, dude. Respect for her. That's so, awesome. She's becoming a her. doctor from what I from what I was reading. She could team up with Alexis too. They have. She's fucking nuts. No, I'm saying like Alexis again. I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> Matter of fact, motherfucker. <laughs> that I know they tag team together. They were Team Wendigo, right? Uh, they were uh, Team Paranormal. They were just the Fighting Wendigos. <laughs> ah, my bad. Fighting. That's sad. Is he knows exactly where to pull fucking cards with. Who the fuck's on them? Like, oh, check this one out right here. Oh, no, this one over here. Well, it's Show me up. Alexa Bliss as a SmackDown champion. 
You're going no. slow here. <laughs> For those of you listening in, you have to go over to uh, Patreon to see the video. This is a video. Uh, Where does the stalking begin? Last, last person on the list. I will. It's done because we've been on here for a long time now. Charlotte Flair is scheduled to be back four to six months. Yeah, I think that's the right time span. Do we see her coming back and mm, being put in the title picture instantly? Winning money in the bank. Or mm. since there is heavy speculation due to his unhappiness with AEW that Andrade will come back and possibly have shown up at Royal Rumble and somehow be a real life power couple to kind of compete with Montez and Bianca. Why well, not the Becky men's real power couple? Uh, Becky be, and be, Seth. Be, yeah. be, because because here's here's the thing. Charlotte Flair was on SmackDown. Montez Ford is on SmackDown. Bianca Belair is on SmackDown. This is four to six months from now. A lot of shit can happen. Listen, I know when the draft is going to happen. Are they going to draft again? Like, and does the draft really matter? Like, Let's see. McMahon's not. Flair wins the fucking... Don't you eat that down me. go wherever. Yeah. Uh, Flair's going to win. Flair's going to go to NXT, so... She's going to be the 15 time. Yeah, and guess what? She's going to get up on top of the ladder. She's going to do a moonsault of sorts, and she's going to fucking break something else. Oh, she could be gone again. Yeah, gonna well, no, I won't miss her. To give, to give her a little bit of credit, <laughs> wasn't really all her fault this time. No, no. This one was actually the, probably one of the very few where she had little say over it or little yeah. control over it. So. I think this was the first time, too, I was like, ooh, shit, that looked bad. Oh, that sucks for her. But hey, at least she'll be gone. <laughs> I felt that. That's true. I'm but, sure you did. Felt a little bad. I think that all the major key players, unless you guys can think of someone. Uh, I'm sure I forgot somebody. I don't know. I mean, yeah, Bobby Lashley. They're going. Him and Cross are going to go at it. But that's. Are we talking about Kevin Owens? Or Sami Zayn? No, we haven't uh, talked about either one of those. Right. Well, Zayn's not back yet, so we don't know when he's returning. If he's coming back, Rumble or not, we don't know. Rumble or Elimination Chamber is the two I've seen. I don't know. Um, I mean, they could keep him out too until Toronto. Mm. Kevin's boring me right now. I'm sorry. He's he's one of those like he doesn't need the title, but also he's not. He wasn't interesting when he had the title either. He's easy to forget about for sure. Very very easy to forget about. He's very generic in my opinion. Just like oh okay oh yeah KO him yeah. Yeah, but still, I hope he beat Logan Paul because I just don't like Logan Paul either. Um, I don't know. I think that's really everyone that kind of matters that's going to have a play story this year, other than the Rock and Reigns, which we've talked about. So, I'm sure, we forgot somebody. I'm, we'll do a mid month or mid year type catch up. See how far along we are. So mid year in review, not in review, just mid year review. See how long, how far. How where do we done? go from here? Yeah. Down. Always down. <laughs> nope, not seeing that part. No. But yeah. We'll see what happens. The draft is coming up after WrestleMania. So we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty sure I just saw it on WWE's Twitter that they said uh draft day is officially here. And I was like yesterday or something. Draft day needs to go away. Yes, it does. They're going to do it. Just fucking do it right. Don't and be so, like, I draft the whole bloodline, or I draft the... Fucking just draft them all go back and not. forth. What the fuck's it matter? Aesthetics. Let them just bounce through all three shows. For the tag, yeah, it has to. It, like, if they do draft, just do s- single players and factions. Like, look, no. You, you take the whole faction because they have a tag team. But don't worry, your tag team can go everywhere. So, you can go everywhere as a faction. So, uh, so yeah, really all I got, cause I'm getting super fucking tired. It's midnight. So, I mean, I could, I could sleep. 
<laughs> yeah. We all could. So go check it out on social media everywhere. And listen to this new podcast episode every Tuesday and Thursday. Check out Patreon. Oh, Thursday nights. There we go. Roggle. There you go. Do your whole bit. Forgot about Thursday nights. Check us out Thursday nights. We're playing Warzone. And maybe another game at some point. Probably not, but stick with Warzone. I'm on Twitch. Stick is over on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Facebook. Check us out there. 